Hello, my fellow Darians, and welcome back for more to play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. So, in today's episode, we are pretty much just gonna progress in, in this temple. Um, <clears throat> I really don't think, oh god, I really don't think I'm gonna finish the temple in this episode because there's still a couple of things to do. Uh, but first is first, we wanna go over here and collect all the silver rupees that we can. In order to whoops. In order to proceed and I should properly pull out my bombs. Because over here there's a BMO. So die Perfect and under that uh, is another uh, silver silver ruby, so that's the reason why you wanna bomb it. And there oh god. Whoop. And go over here, and that open, uh, opens up the door. Now, um, I don't think there's any gold scorchers here, but I could be wrong. But let's just see. Oh yeah, this place. Ah, oh, I hate this place. There's no. Uh, did I say gold scorchers before? I think I did. Um, there is actually one gold scorchers in this room right here. Um, yeah, so you want to pull out this big block from the wall. And with that, pull it forward, uh, forward, and you will eventually stop the the blades of or the spikes of doom um, and destruction like that. And speed up. So around there, now you can see that uh, you stop both of them, and over here is a gold scorcher for you. So let's just get that, and I don't need the bombs anymore. So let's get the gold scorcher uh, token. And with that in hand, we can also go over here and just get some uh, some rupees in that chest there. But I couldn't really care less about rupees, so I'm not really gonna go with it. But I mean, if you need rupees, sure, there's like five rupees or something in that chest there. Um, so push this block all the way back. Like so, climb it, and let's see, yeah, go over here, and now you can actually, wait a minute, there, now you can actually walk up on the spike uh, thingy, <laughs> my brother, and push this button here, and in, in that chest over there is uh, where the key is, so watch out, don't fall down, because otherwise you just have to Actually, I think you're screwed if you're fall if you're falling down. Uh, oh well, we we got uh, we got the key, so that's the reason why we came here, and also for the gold scorcher, of course. So now that we have that, we can go back to this room and just ignore the bemo. That's what I oh uh, god prefer. So with that key in hand, we can now go over here. But as you can see, there is nothing. Oh wait, is there? Yep, there is. There's just platforms. Um, so let's jump over here, and this platform is uh, moving from right to uh, left, right to left, um, or from side to side, I should rather say. <laughs> That's the right term. So yeah, you um, kind of want to be careful here, otherwise you just fall down and start back uh, at the other platform thingy. In here is another silver. Ruby challenge kind of thing, but there's also sp uh, hidden spikes, so just watch out for that. And we also have uh, Redeads, who uh, jumps and humps me. Just that's just great. So let's go over and kill this one. And with that, another chest is gonna appear, but it's just uh, some. Rubies or arrows. It's not really important. So let's just leave that in high. Whoa, I almost walked into those spikes there. Uh, anyway, right up here is another silver ruby that, that we can get like that. And uh, let's see, there's also one over there. So let's get that one too. There we go. Um, the last ones are kind of tricky, 
uh, to be honest. As you can see, there's a platform there, but the platform doesn't show up unless you use the the lens of true. And plus, we also have a hookshot target right up here. So um, let's hookshot. I missed. Why do I keep missing this? There we go. Alright, so there's one silver ruby right there, and the last one is kind of tricky. Uh, what I normally do is that I go over to about here. And then do this, but I just failed. And I. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Spikes. Watch out for the spikes, definitely. Um, yeah, I really suck at, suck at this part here. So, I do apologize for that. Let me just try again. Oh god. No. Up. Alright, let's just see what the platform is there. And... No, not quite. There. And then slash. Slash in mid-air really helps you. And that's what um, I normally do in order to get the ruby. So, let's see where we are now. Oh yeah, this room. This room is pretty much one of my favorite rooms in this in this temple, believe it or not. Um, you have a big skull right there. Plus you also have some keys and I do believe we also have some fire... Yep, we also have fire keys in here. Uh, okay. That was actually pretty bad. Oh my god, just die. Uh, so basically, just take this uh, flower bump and throw it into the skull. And with that, you can get your next key. This temple is really unique. It gives you uh, one key at a time, pretty much. Um, which is a pretty cool gimmick, in my opinion. So yeah, you always have to have a key in order to proceed into the next room, and I need to kill the keys. There we go. No, one more. Whoops. Where's the last one? Uh... What? Oh wow, it's right... No, no. There we go, right? Yeah, finally, okay. Uh, I didn't know, I actually didn't know that you had to kill the keys in order to go out of the room again. That's sort of interesting, actually. Uh, but with that in hand, we can now go up here, and actually you need the lens of true in order to do this. Oh, well, I guess you really don't need it, but it's just more convenient to have it, because if you don't have it, you can't really see the target. Uh, so let's go into this room right here and see what's in here. Oh yeah, uh, is this the room where you need to... Yep. You need to have the uh, iron boots, because you actually need to get some uh, extra weight. Um, otherwise you'll just be thrown back by, by these uh, propellers. Oh, right there's a uh, sculpture. Come on die. Alright. So with that in hand, uh, do we need the hover, uh, hover boots? Hover boots, wow. Yes, we do so. Go! And did I mess this up? I think I did. I think I did. Go! No, I didn't. Okay, good. Woo. Link, just go down, please. Down. I'm so Okay, you know what? Screw you. Go down. Thank you. And now I think we need the iron boots again. Right? Yeah. Okay. So go, 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 go. And plus we have a 
was I that shoot fires at you? That's not really the bad part um, about this particular place. Let me just see if I went the right way. I don't think I did. Um, Sun Sun, just to be on the safe side because I really don't want to get humped by those uh, redeads. And. Okay, it's for a fairy, I think. Uh, this place here. Yeah. Let me get out the boots and kill you! Alright. Whoops. I wanted to uh, jump. I want to jump attack. Thank you. Uh, no? What do you say? Here I can hear the spirits whispering in the in this room. Those who have sacred feet should let the wind guide them. They will be lead to the hidden path. Oh yeah, okay. It's just okay. I know. I know what to do in here. Um, put on your. I'm just put up, gonna put on the iron boots just to be on the safe side, really. Uh, if they are going right now. As you can see over here, this is where the um, secret path is. So let me just put the iron boots on and go into this room. And in this room, now here's a funny story. Um, when I was a kid, I of course played this game. And I didn't know what to do in here. I tried to kill the Gyptos and I tried to go back into the main room and see if there's anything that I missed uh, but I couldn't find anything and and for some for that reason I just said to myself okay you know what screw you Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time I'm done with you and I and believe it or not I didn't play this game for many many years um, because I really didn't know what to do and Back then, there wasn't any guides on, you know, the internet or something like that. Um, so yeah, I put the game back uh, at the sh on the shelf, and it just laid there for many years. So until one day, I decided to actually go and try and play this game once again. Uh, and keep in mind, I was, I think, I was two years um, older than when I first played the game uh, so I didn't so I tried to put out a bomb and put it right here to see what happened and this is the only thing you needed to do because right here is a chest and I didn't know about this as a kid um, so for two years or something like that I didn't play Legend of Zelda Green of Time because I didn't know how to proceed in the game so that's a funny backstory there uh, and this room so let's see where we are. Okay, whatever. 